In this video, we're going to add some holes to uh, the train body that we created previously. So the holes that uh, we're going to add are, uh, we're going to add two on each side. So the two that you can see right here, you'll notice that those are threaded. And then the three on the front, we have also have this cutaway here on the side as well. And then if you flip over, there is one on the back. So we're going to add all of that here. So I'm going to flip over to another design file that we did last time that just had the body. Okay, and I'm going to create a sketch on this side right here. So we're going to start by adding a circle for the, the cutaway that you see right here. So I'm going to flip over to the drawing. And that cutaway, you'll notice, is a, a circle. And again, the radius is uh, 0.5. Remember, we need to double that. So we'll need to add a circle of uh, a diameter of 1. So I'll click Circle. And I'll just place it roughly here. And then we'll just type 1. And let's look back and get the other dimensions for that circle. So from the right hand side, uh, that is dimensioned in uh, to 0.25. And then from the bottom, it is 1.75. So go up to our dimension tool. So the right hand side, we said that was 0.25. And then from the bottom, we said that was 1.75. Okay, another thing you'll notice, if you look at what happens with the circle here, is as it approaches this edge, the part of the circle kind of curves down here, and then that curves up. But if you look closely at the drawing, notice those are straightened here at the top and at the bottom. So it looks like they added lines to make it straighten out from the very top, like midpoint and the bottom point of the circle. So we'll add some lines that do the same thing. So we'll go to the line tool. And then I'm going to just hover my mouse over the midpoint of the circle and then drag up, click the X, and then drag uh, over to the right. Make sure you see that perpendicular symbol and then click. And then we'll do the same thing on the bottom. Okay, and then we'll go to the trim tool next and get rid of the extra parts of the circle we don't want. So click the outer part there as well as these two inside parts. Okay, so the cutaway is ready to be extruded. While we're in this sketch though, let's go ahead and add two points for our holes. So I'm going to go to create, go to point, and then I'll just place them roughly where they need to be for now. And then we'll go back to our drawing and look at what the dimensions are. Uh, so these holes right here, you'll notice if we follow this dimension line, it is half an inch from the uh, bottom. So we'll go to dimension tool. So from the bottom, this one is half an inch. And then this one is as well. All right, let's get the other dimensions. So from the side, this one is one inch. And then this one is four and a half from the right side. So that one is one. And then this one here is four and a half. And we are ready to finish this sketch. So I'll click finish. And we'll start by extruding this part. So I'll click extrude, click that profile, change the operation to cut. And then under extent type, I'll just change it to all. So it goes all the way through and then click OK. Uh, that made our sketch disappear and we still need to make those holes. So I'm going to click the arrow under sketches and then uh, show sketch three again by clicking the eyeball there. And then we'll go to our hole tool. And then we're going to click on both of these points. And let's go to our uh, drawing to see what the dimension is. So you'll notice that these are given as a whole note right here. And these are actually tapped. So this, this top part of the whole note tells you that it is uh, a quarter inch in diameter. And the, the thread type for these holes is uh, 20 UNC. Uh, and then the depth of the holes are 0.875. And the times four just means that this whole note applies to the two on this side as well as the two on the other side. Okay, so uh, let's change the uh, 
the thread type here first. So uh, in your whole note or your, your whole tool in Fusion 360, we'll click tapped. And then it might automatically select the, the correct option here for you. Uh, but make sure under designation, it says a quarter inch uh, 20 UNC, which is the correct thread type. And then that should automatically make the size a quarter of an inch or 0.25, which is what we want. Uh, and then the only thing we really need to change here, this is the depth. And remember, we need to change that to 0.875. So I'll go ahead and do that. And then click OK. OK, now to get the holes on the other side, you'll notice we just have the two on uh, this side for now. Uh, we could repeat those same pr that same process by making a sketch and then using the hole tool and selecting the correct options. But there is a little bit of a faster way, and I'm going to show you how to do that uh, now. So we'll start by making a plane that is like halfway through our train body. So I'll click this face right here, and then we'll go to offset plane. And then we want this to go halfway uh, through. And if you notice, if you remember from last time, uh, this is two inches all the way across. So halfway would be one inch. So I'll, I'll change that to negative one, click OK. And then we'll, the tool we want to use for this is the mirror tool. So we're going to click create, go down to mirror, and then it automatically chose the right option for me because I think I did this last time. But make sure that the object type is under features. And then for objects, uh, in the timeline down here, I'm just going to click hole one. And then for mirror plane, click this button and then select your construction plane that we just added. And you should see some circles appear on the other side where those holes are. Basically what it does is it copies these holes that we made here and kind of reflects them or mirrors them over to the other side. Okay, and then we'll just click OK. And if you flip over, you should see those two holes and they are identical to the ones on the other side. So they're threaded in the same size and depth. Okay, so since that's done, let's go ahead and hide sketch three now and we'll hide that plane as well. And then on this front part, we're gonna add those three holes next. So I'll click the front, sketch, and then let's flip over to our drawing again to see what uh, those need to be. So these three holes, the ones on the bottom, we'll do first. So from the bottom line, it is 0.125, and then they are each 0.375 from the outer edges. So we'll go up to create, point, so from the bottom they were 0.125. And then from their outer edges, it was 0.375. And then I know there's a point in the middle, so I'm going to go ahead and just place it for now. Find the midpoint and then just drag up. And then we'll go to our drawing. So that needs to be placed 0.625 from the bottom. And then I'll go ahead and add the uh, dimension here as well from the side, just so it's fully dimensioned. And then click finish. And then we'll go to our whole tool, select these three. It's gonna automatically select the same options we used last time. Uh, let's go back to the drawing and figure out what size these need to be. So in this whole note right down here, we can see that they are 0.125 for both the diameter and the depth. So these are not tapped, so I'm going to change it back to simple. And then again, this should be 0.125 for both depth and diameter. OK, and then click OK. So those three holes are done now. And then I'm going to flip to the back. This back one will be a little bit easier because we have a sketch that we made in our first uh, video uh, that will help us for this. So I'm going to click the eyeball on sketch one. And you'll notice we still have this point right here. 
and we're just going to use the hole tool to create that hole in the back. So I'll flip over to the drawing to see what dimension that is, and that's in the top part here. So we can see the diameter is 0.25 and the depth is 0.5. So the depth was 0.5, diameter was 0.25, and then we will click OK. And that is most of the holes. I'm going to go ahead and hide the first sketch now. Uh, that is most of the holes in the, the train. Uh, in the last video that we'll do uh, after this, we will add the hole up here on the top of this, which is where the stack connects. And we'll also fill it all of the edges going around the train body.